Hey drivers, it's been a lot of work to get here, but if everything goes well today, we will be unloading the biggest upgrade to Haptic Garage right here behind me just a few hours from now. Let's see if we can make it happen. We have plenty of rigging, ramps, there's a winch in here and a ton of ratcheting tie down straps. Our first stop is to pick up a lift trailer. Sometimes people call it a drop deck trailer. The cool thing about these trailers is that the whole bed of the trailer can drop all the way to the ground, level. Not a tilt trailer, right? But the whole thing goes down to the ground. Little bit of a speed bump, folks. This is not the trailer that I reserved. This axle drops really low it just rotates up the wheels and so the bed of the trailer goes down that will put the tail of the trailer all the way down in the dirt which i need but then the whole thing will be tilted and this piece of equipment is so heavy i don't think it's going to be a lot of fun to go uphill so what i'm going to try and do is game the system a little bit <laughs> pull the trailer off of the hitch and use the tongue jack to lower it basically this low such that the whole thing is really really low Part of what I've offered the seller is a very easy experience. <laughs> they didn't want to deliver, they don't want any drama or anything, and so I told them what my plan was. They seemed comfortable with that. Then we did our negotiation and made a deal, so I gotta hold up my end of the bargain. I'm a little concerned, but I do think this is going to work. Just a few more miles, let's get back on the road, see if we can get this thing loaded up. Well, we did it, folks. We have a Bridgeport Verispeed head, a 1983 model with the two horsepower motor on it. We have the head mostly inverted to bring the center of gravity down a little bit. Also the knee, that is all lowered and the table is drawn in. I mean, they're kind of top heavy machines anyway, but we've done what we can. I have to thank the wonderful family I bought this thing from. They were awesome throughout the process. I enjoyed meeting all four of them and learning about the gentleman who was such a great steward of this machine and I can only hope to give it such a good home moving forward. Okay, we're gonna drive the rest of the way home. We'll uh, probably unload it tomorrow <laughs> and get a closer look at the big, big upgrade that Haptic Garage made today. Got home last night around midnight and that was a little bit late to do some of the noise making we're about to engage in. <laughs> so let me show you how this trailer works and we'll see if we can get our new bridge port unloaded and into the garage. First step is to unlock the trailer. There's some safety pins that go in right here for while you're driving. So we've got that unlocked and now we can drop the rear deck of the trailer. There's a hydraulic pump in here and a battery, of course, that powers it. And this little remote. So now all we do, gonna make some noise, Rody. <laughs> is drop the trailer down. Now I want less of an incline than this. I mean, I'll be using a winch and everything, but I'm going to drop the tongue of the trailer down also. I found it's possible to lower the tongue so much that the deck doesn't hit the ground in the rear. Of course, that's a no-go. One of the big advantages of doing it like this is a really smooth transition from the rear of the deck onto your surface. This is working out especially well because I don't have to go uphill anywhere. I'm gonna come down the ramp onto flat concrete, and then with just me and that pallet jack, I'll be able to push the mill into the garage all the way to the hoist we have waiting here to pull it off of that pallet jack. This should work well. Not the prettiest arrangement, but we're all hooked up. Because this system has a deep cycle battery, we're able to just hook our jumpers straight to this one. I haven't had to run it all the way up to the truck, but either way would work. Right, let's get all of these ratcheting tie downs out of there. If you're curious about the approach to strapping this thing down, we went behind the mill and over the knee here and did the same thing in front of it. And those straps were kept pretty close because they were lower height. And then four more, we did the four corners of the trailer across the top of the, the ram here and had to use various methods to weave things around, but made it work. And this thing did not wobble at all. Went over some fairly rough roads on the highway, potholes and that kind of nonsense and it stayed tight the whole time. I kept checking anyway, 
because <laughs> these are inherently top heavy but with enough straps you can do it safely the pallet jack has worked out really really well there was one hiccup in my experience with pallet jacks when you let them down nothing moves but that's not totally accurate the wheels are still on the ground it's just the pallet is also on the ground and it gave me that false impression so this is how it was solved actually the seller came up with this and it's a great idea just a little bit of dunnage here underneath the pallet jack so everything was sitting solid no chance of rolling and of course i'll just lift it up we're all hooked up to the winch so it shouldn't go anywhere that'll give me a chance to remove those boards and then go down the ramp let's we'll see how that works Again, these things are top heavy. Even with the head rotated down like that, there's just a ton of weight up there. So I'm gonna drop the pallet jack back down and then lift it only so much to get it to roll and we'll go down the hill. Didn't know if this would ever happen. Did a lot of daydreaming about having one of these. And you know how we torture ourselves. Checking Facebook Marketplace and Craigslist and eBay and auctions. And then the day comes that we just jump, that we just do it. And that's when it all begins. Well, that's not ideal. <laughs> okay, this will be better. <laughs> Looks like a hot mess. But what I did is just looped a short length of chain through the hook and i'm using these shackles now i'm not sure about doing this with chain like that and i'm not sure about the load rating of these 3 8 inch shackles i'm reasonably certain that we're going to be okay but i did hook up another chain as a safety which might actually be the better chain between the two this will level it some it's not really under tension but we're redundant and we've protected the mill with rags and welding gloves <laughs> let's go ahead and lift this thing off the pallet i'm going to return the rental stuff and we can get on with the first project we're going to put a skid underneath this thing with leveling feet it's going to be quite the project because it's big. It needs to be really stout. And we need to do a little engineering here. Click this video to see the dolly we build for this mill or explore some of the other projects we have here at Haptic Garage. See you in the next video.